Hello and welcome to this channel about cryptocurrency education. Today we're looking at some exciting Cardano news and also at the price and what our stake addresses are doing. So is Cardano actually growing? Uh, are more and more people holding it? And also actually looking at why Cardano has a, or what Cardano's secret is and why so many people are actually holding it. So let's first have a look at the price here. Um, we're seeing some green candles here again, which indicates that the price actually bounced off from that um, yeah, support level that is here. I think that support level is also the 200 day um, moving average. So it bounced off. It already, already did bounce off here um, back then and it bounced off again. Now, are we going to see something, uh, a sustainable recovery? I don't believe we're doing it yet because we're still in a downward trend. Many other people believe that we haven't seen the bottom yet. However, what we can see generally, and I think that is actually a really, really good sign, even though the volume isn't there yet. So I think we need the volume to see a sustainable recovery of Cardano and generally across crypto, the volume is down. But what is a good sign that the negative news are increasing? I mean, look at the news about Binance, look at other negative news. Again, there was something around China coming up again, where the Chinese are again um, throwing Bitcoin miners out or basically shutting them down. All of that is actually a good sign, um, which basically shows that we are getting closer to the bottom. I don't think we've seen the worst yet. I don't think we've seen the worst news yet. And I don't think the whole atmosphere and um, the way people think and talk about crypto, it's not as negative as it needs to be for us to really form that bottom. Because only when the weak hands are really out, all of the weak hands, then big institutions, uh, the whales will buy again. So they are waiting exactly for that. That's what unfortunately happens. We have to be a bit patient, but overall, um, I believe we will see some massive price increases this year. So let's have a quick look at the secret to Cardano ADA success as a top choice for holders first. So first of all, they mention here, so why are so many people holding actually ADA? One reason is, and that's probably a most, it's more of a psychological one, but it is certainly one that affects quite a few people. It's that many people just can't afford to buy ETH or Bitcoin. So they don't want to split the ETH or the Bitcoin into smaller chunks, right? They want to own one coin. They don't want to own whatever Satoshis, they want to own one Bitcoin, but because of the price of Bitcoin, people just want to, don't want to do it. They prefer to go to coins or cryptos, which are at a lower price like ADA. I mean, even at the all time high, it was, you know, still very, very cheap per crypto coin compared or per token compared to Bitcoin, for example. So that's one reason why it's actually quite popular. ADA is quite popular because of that. It's certainly not an aspect that is to be neglected. I mean, overall, you know, it, it all depends on the circulating supply and stuff like that, but it is still like a psychological factor, which I think shouldn't be neglected. Um, the next one is actually the visible intrinsic value. So talking about the partnerships, I mean, talking about the partnerships, for example, with the Ethiopian government, also they have a partnership with um, the Tanzanian government, you know, also recently Grayscale added um, ADA to their, uh, to, to one of their funds and now obviously working on the Alonso hard fork rollout or the, yeah, the Alonso mainnet rollout. Um, also the, <laughs> the last sentence, I mean, I like that sentence. I'm not sure, um, yeah, how, how realistic that really will be, but we will see it. Certainly it's something to strive for. Investors believe ADA may well see up to a 500% price increase over the next six months. Now, Yes, I believe there will be another price increase. I also think we will need, we will see another all time high. Will it be 500% this year? I'm not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure. And that's only my personal opinion. I'm pretty sure that we will see a new all time high this year. As soon as we have formed that bottom and believe me, I'd rather see now another hard shock sell off instead of like another one or two months, you know, sideways movement. I'd rather see that massive sellout and drop to maybe, I don't know, below $1 or something. So that is a, it's a quick short shock from which then many people will go in again and buy and then we'll hopefully see the volumes again. People get more interesting, um, people get more interested and the more positive news are coming up again. I'd rather see that instead of another like two months of this torture here, but there you go. 
Um, it's just what it is, unfortunately. But we are all holding, right? Um, that is the good thing. I know many of you guys are holding. And uh, you, we can see it on the stake addresses. I mean, I noticed now, it's the first time I looked at this, where we had the total stake addresses actually above 700,000. And also the stake pools going up. There were always pools closing down as well. But as long as the number of pools is going up, I believe that's actually good for decentralization. I mean, the Cardano protocol, they have these systems built in that sort of um, make sure that there is no, um, yeah, like let's say centralization is kept to a minimum. But um, yeah, more stake pools are good, I believe. The community is growing. We can see that even despite the um, ADA, the ADA, um, well, uh, e e even despite um, the price not really going up. So more and more people are staking and that doesn't necessarily mean more people buying ADA, but it means more people who actually hold ADA are staking. And, you know, they, they put this nice staking guide out, which which is all about education. So there's a lot of YouTube videos talking about staking. Also, they input output, put this staking guide out, which I found really, really useful and helpful. A uh, very nice overview, you know, nothing boring to read. It's really to the point. I went through it, talks about everything from staking. What is staking? Why is it important? Also, especially for the Cardano blockchain, how do you create a wallet, right? Where do you can, where can you create a wallet? Talking about the different um, available wallets for ADA, the different rewards here in the epoch, um, pool parameters, which are important, how to choose the right stake pool. I made a video about that as well a few days ago, but also hear about some facts for everybody. And this is really, really helpful. If you don't really know how to choose a pool or if you're not sure about what staking actually is, this is really worth having a look. You can find it on their Twitter account, input output, really useful. Um, some more very, very exciting news actually. Obviously, as you know, we moved into Alonso White now. Um, they have, yesterday it was, they have actually launched this um, update video here, which um, I don't know, it doesn't show it at the moment, but on their uh, Twitter channel, they on their Twitter account, they um, linked this YouTube video where they just gave a 10 minute update on the rollout, how it's going. They currently say, I mean, we are now in the white phase and you know, the next one is purple. Then um, they gave an update. They say it's going well at the moment, currently have a plan for, it's supposed to take around four weeks. I believe it might be a bit longer. I believe it will happen in August. Um, the next stage after Alonso Blue, um, it will happen in August, yeah. Um, uh, the next stage after White is purple. Um, so yeah, we probably won't see the mainnet rollout in August, but hopefully in September. Um, but yeah, their plan is for white to run for four weeks. Now, realistically, that might be another week on it, uh, add, add another week to it. So we might look at five weeks, but then we're still in August. And from then on, we can move into purple, which will be another four weeks. So yeah, we, we might, we might not see it before, um, the end of September, the mainnet rollout, but that is what it is. They need to take that time. There is a lot happening. Actually, there are more people now in the Plutus program as well in the programmer um, training program um, than there were before. I think they had in the first stage of their developer program, it was 1400 developers. Now it's 2800. So they are growing as well. Uh, I think they mentioned that somewhere here as well. And um, basically, yeah, it all boils down to they are um, on their route, they're on their way. So far, it's all going to plan in Cardano White. Um, and then I can't wait for Alonso Purple. Also very important for everybody who's interested, check out on the 29th of July, which is not too far off, they will have their big Cardano 360 again, which is the main update about everything that's happening in the Cardano space. I can't wait for that. 29th of July, it will happen at 4.30 UTC. And um, yeah, make sure you tune in. It normally takes, um, I think an hour or two. So it's quite extensive. Um, I'll be able probably to provide an update um, about this when, uh, because I will listen to the whole thing. So yeah, can't wait for that. Hopefully you liked the video, the update today. If you did, then please smash the like button. And if you want to follow me on this Cardano and crypto channel journey, then please subscribe to the channel. Thanks a lot for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.